Hi, my friends. Welcome back. We're here for more fake love, true love. Oh, God. Well, I think we just got rescued by a celebrity. Let's go. Oh, my God. I know you. You do? You remember me? Yes. I do remember you. You're in need of a medical assistance. Sam, call an ambulance. 911, we have an emergency. What happened? What's that sound? And that's and there was this huge duck and there was this huge duck standing over her. But I managed to find him off. I've been working out. Oh, of course you did. What's gonna to happen to the girl next? What's her name? Well, all you media vultures, get out before I call the cops. Hey, Doc. I'm not impressed by you, Carver. The hospital is a medical is a place for a medical circus. Oh wait, it's not a place for a medical circus. Fine. So how is she? Well, she has a few bruises, but other than that, she should be fine. It looks like she just overexerted herself. Are you sure? Of course, I'm the doctor. She's free to go. Carver, my favorite client, Molly, and you doubted me. The press is eating up this up. Carver sticks it the hero. I love you. I told you I can handle it. This is good, but we need to mo We're gonna need more. Hello? Can someone tell me what's going on? What was? What were all those cameras for? What's your name, dear? Caroline Blank. You know her? I didn't. I didn't think you would remember me. Of course, I remember you, Caroline. How could I forget the little dweeb that grew up next door to me? You haven't changed much, I see. But you have. Carver Stinson says childhood sweetheart. This is perfect! I'm not his. I never even liked her. The press doesn't need to know that, do they? But, but there's nothing. But nothing. How much do you want? What? Everyone has a press. How much is it going to cost you to say you and Carver were childhood sweethearts? Uh, an opportunity to tell my story as soon as I figure out what that is? Maybe an algae freak cat? I hear there's a new breed, bag of gold, or an interview? Yes, a national interview to tell your story. Get your own personal narrative. You're not just a girl in Carver's story, he's the guy in yours. Hey! How much we talking? I suppose I can lie a little if you're willing to pay. Of course, dear. What do you need? Well, I, I'm a little down on my luck. How, how done are we, talking? Well, today I just lost my job and got kicked out of college because I couldn't pay. And I kind of had nowhere to stay because my boyfriend was cheating on me and kicked me out. That's pretty down. This is That's pretty pathetic. It's perfect. I knew you were going to say that. What? What are you talking about? If you help Carver out, we'll solve all your problems. No, absolutely not. Carver, we need to fix your image. And unless you want to end up on some washed up reality show like Camping with the Stars, you, you're going to do this. Fine. Karen, Karen was your childhood crush. You lost touch with each other. She lost everything in one day and got attacked. You heroically saved her from a criminal fate, brought you back together. And Carver's still madly in love with you. Open his home to, to you and help you get back on your feet. I do? He does? He does. Isn't childhood love on the verge of re regenerate? I can't read that. The people will love it. What do you say, Cam? Are you in? Let's just do it. I'm in. I'll be a fool to pass this opportunity up. I'm in. Wait, let's get you check out uh, over at Carver's. Check out two Carver's. Oh my god, I can't read anymore. Great. Time to twist it. This is it. Oh my god, I'm going to stay in Carver Stinson's mansion. Which wouldn't be exciting if you hadn't been such a jerk to me when we were little. Are you really going to complain about that now? I'm giving you a free place to stay. And I'm failing your ass out of failing career by giving you the image you needed. Whatever, let's go in already. 
Whoa, look at this place. You know, I, yeah, I know it's nice. Have I t uh, told you how humble you are? Stephanie. You may, Mr. Master? Stop, stop kidding around, Steph. Still can't keep the gym, huh, boss? Carolyn, this is my name, Stephanie. You may, just like that? I told her this, this is the most ridiculous maid uniform. That's a uniform? It's been a long day. I'm going to bed. Show her to her room. Yes, sir. He's something else, isn't he? Got that right. He's a damn pig. That is why me panting around clean his house like I'm some kind of stripper. But I'm not really into men. So I'm just jumps on him, huh? Oh, you're a lesbian. I guess so. And a pretty one, too. You look worn out. You wouldn't believe the day I had. Looks like you could get a good night's sleep. Follow me. This is your room. while you were at the hospital. I did have some PJs for you. As for your clothes, well, we'll just have to do something about those tomorrow. I guess so. Have a good night. Thanks. I guess I should put on my PJs. Hope I didn't get lost in this room. bigger than my room with Dave. Dave, why? No, I'm not going to cry. Maybe I got dumb and lost everything. But I'm staying with a, one of the hottest celebrities. Even if he was always a jerk towards me. I think I have the biggest crush on him. Rise and shine, Caroline. Good morning, Molly. But why are you up? Are we up getting up so early? We got a big day today. Reporters are coming by later tonight, and we need to have you looking your best. You know what that means, don't you? No, darling. We can't have you look in front of the cameras looking like this. It's time for a totally new look. Give me a makeover. Makeover, press fake look. What else is going to happen? Find out in the next chapter. Thanks for watching. We're, we're here for more true love, fake love. Oh, I mean, fake love, true love. I keep saying the wrong thing. And I'll see you guys in the next chapter. Goodbye.